Greetings everyone. Welcome to DCC Media YouTube channel. Today we're gonna discuss the minimum operation to reduce x to zero, right? So uh, let's just read the question. You are given an integer array nums and integer x. In one operation, you can either remove the leftmost or the rightmost element from the array nums and subtract it from the x. Uh, it's given that uh, this modifies the array for the future operations. Fine. And we have to return the minimum number of operations. So uh, uh, here we have to just return the minimum number of uh, uh, operations which we can do to reduce the x to 0. So whenever we see these types of terms, the minimum number of operations or optimization based term. So we know that optimization based problem can be solved either with DP or with binary search or it's a greedy, basically the combination of like prefix sum or something like that, uh, greedy. So uh, either uh, it is either of these, uh, one of them. So, if we look here, then the, uh, the value of x is very large. So, uh, if we uh, try to solve it with the dp, then it will surely get the TLE. So, how we can approach this question? So, one thing uh, we know that either I can choose this, I can choose, if I choose this, then it's for sure that I have to choose these two things. So, so what, what really, uh, as you can see here in this example, what it does that it chooses the two elements from the end. So, let me just bring you to another. So basically, this is in this question uh, we can observe that we use the one element from the end, and basically we are using two elements from the end here, right? And thus it result up to the seven. Here we can see that there are no possible combination or no possible ways to achieve the sum four. And here we can uh, see here that it is just using uh, three element, two element from the front, and three elements from the back, and resulting up to the ten. So total in total we are using the five uh, elements. So how we can approach this question? So as we can see that we are concerned with the sum of the elements from the starting we are using and the sum of the elements from the end we are using. So if we are concerned with only the sum part then the prefix sum can help us right because in prefix sum we can directly store the sum of the contiguous segments. So I solve this question by using the approach of the prefix sum. Let's just see the approach and the code passes it pretty easy for this. So let's just see for the this, this test case. Let's say I am telling that from the starting I am selecting the zeroth element like I am not selecting any element from the start. Then how many elements I have to select from the end? I don't know, but I know for sure that the whatever the elements I select from the end, its sum should be equal to five, right? So I have to, uh, so I have just taken the prefix sum and the suffix sum of this entire array, and I will look for the sum starting from the end, right? And since it is a sorted array, uh, we can search for the sum or particular sum by using a binary search, right? So we would search for five, whether the five is present in my this segment or not. Yes, the five is present and uh, to achieve the sum 5, how many digits we have used? So we have used the 2 digit from end and 0, zero digit from starting. So our sum is like number of digits we have used is 2 here. Right? It's here. So, 0, 1, 2. So the 2 elements we are used from the end here. So our answer is 2 here. Now let's say I am now saying that I will use the 1 element from the start. So what are the sum contribution of that element? Let's say the sum contribution of that element is 1 here. Right? So, if I using the one element from the start and its sum contribution is one, so how, what is the, our new target? Our new target will now reduce to four, right? Like we have to search for the four and I am telling that I am only selecting the one element from the start. It means the, I will select the, those elements from the end, which will contribute to four. So, is it possible? Let us check that uh, the four is not possible. Like the, either we can get three, five or nine. So, four is not possible. So, this case will not possible. Okay, fine. Now I will say, say that, okay, I will choose the two element from the start. So what is the sum contribution to the two elements? So, since we have taken the prefix sum and it's clearly visible, it's two. So if it's two, then what's the elements we have to search for, for from the end? It's three, right? So we will look whether the three is present from the end is not. Yes, it's present here, right? It's the present here. So how many digits we are using? We have used the two digits from the end since it's a, uh, it's a prefix sum. So uh, I have just inserted zero. So manage in our code. Okay. So uh, we have just used the two elements from the start. And we have just used the one element from the end, so it's the three, right? But the previously calculated, uh, in the previously calculated way, we are getting by using only two elements. So we will reject this uh, three and use this two only. Okay, let's go forward. Okay, so now I am saying that I will use these three elements, basically the four, one, and one. So the sum reach up to the six. Can we use this element? No, sure, for sure we cannot use this element because the six is greater than our target five. So and the, it's given that the numbers are positive only. So uh, this, so this so from the six onward or we can say the from four onward we cannot choose the element right so what's the conclusion we can draw from here the conclusion we can draw from here that we will choose the certain elements from the start and we will see whether the complement basically complement save is like our target here is like five 
So 5 and whatever the sum of this part, we will calculate the sum from the prefix sum, let us say sum, sum prefix. So we will search for the sum prefix from the end. And if we get the sum prefix from the end, then we will look for the how many digits we have used. The number of digits we have used is like the element till uh, in this range and the number of elements we are consuming from the back. So that will be our total sum. So this was all the approach of this question. Now let's just get back to uh, solution and see here what uh, in this test case. Let's just try run for the sample test case. Uh, let me write this. So it's a three two zero one one three. So it's three two zero one one. Still. And our target is 10 here. So first of all, I will say I will not use the any element from the starting. So I have to search for the elements which ends up to some 10 starting from the end. So what are the, is it possible? So let's just see the 3 plus 1, 4 and 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 20 is equal to 25. So this is not possible, right? Now I will tell, okay, I have consumed the one element from the start. Now our sum, some space will reduce to what? Now we have to look for only 7, right? Because 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. So we now again look for the sum of 7. Is sum of 7 is available? Like 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, and it's, so it's not also possible. Now we will use the two elements from the start. So it's end up to the 5. Now what's the target uh, space for us? Now we will search for the 5 because the 5 is already being uh, made from the starting. So the remaining target is only what? The 5, right? So we'll search whether the 5 is possible from the end. Let's see. Like 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. Yeah. So we will use this part from the start and this part from the end and we will get the answer. So how many digits we have used? The 2 from the starting and 3 from the end. So it's the 5. We have used the 5 digits. Fine. It is the 1 of our answer. Let's just move forward. And now the sum up to this what? 25. So whether this segment is possible. What I do I mean by possible means can we even consider this segment? No, because the prefix sum is already greater than our target. So no matter what the suffix sum will be, even if we don't take any element, it will uh, it won't satisfy our target sum. So uh, we have to stop here, and our uh, desired answer will be five here. So let's just see, yeah, five here. So this was all the approach. You have to take the prefix sum and the suffix sum, and then uh, we will move one by one from the starting. That we will take one and zero element, then we will take one element, then we will take the two element, then we will take three element, and correspondingly we will search the complement of the sum. Like if the target is five and we have the let's say the two till now, then we will search for the three from nine. So that was the whole approach. So uh, let's just see the code that I have declared the two uh, array, the prefix sum and suffix sum. And the minimum operations required, I have just declared it int max, right? So I have just calculated the prefix sum here and I have calculated the suffix sum here. If you don't know the prefix sum and suffix sum, uh, then first read that part and then come to this video. Then I have just reversed the uh, suffix sum part. Why I have just reversed from the suffix sum part? Because uh, all we are doing is just taking the element from uh, sum from this part only. So like the, like in, like an earlier case here. So it would be easy for searching from the start if I consider, basically I want, don't want to start searching from the end side because it sometimes cause some error for logical purpose. So I just reverse the entire thing and now it will be like 3, 5, 9, 10, 11, and 0 also here. So I will just take the how many elements I am taking from here, how many elements I am taking. So it will be like you can also take it from the back side but for the sake of easiness for my process, I have just reversed the suffix up. Now what I have done, yeah, that as I mentioned that, okay, I am telling that I am taking n elements from the starting. Let's say I am taking i elements from the starting. So what are the sum contribution of these i elements? Okay, this is the sum contribution of these i elements. So what is the complement? So this is the complement and I will search whether this number is present in the suffix sum array, whether this number is possible if I start from the end and take the sum of the elements. So I have just checked here that if my iterator is equal to n, so basically that sum is not possible or if the sum of the element from the starting number of digits which are taking from the start and number of elements which are taking from the end, if it is greater than the total number of elements, it means that there is an overlapping condition. What do I mean by overlapping condition? Let's say our number is 1, 2, uh, 3 and 4. And in any particular case, you are taking this, that 6. And our target is let's say uh, 13. So for getting the 13, my suffix sum will say, okay, I can provide you the 7. So 7 is possible. So how many digits we have taken? The 3 plus 2, the 5 elements. Uh, 
how many elements i have taken i have taken the five elements right the three elements from the starting and two elements from the end so uh, how many uh, five elements right but how many digits we have or how many elements we have in our array we have only the four elements so it for sure there is a overlapping condition and to avoid that that condition i have just uh, put the tick condition here that the sum of the total number of elements which i am taking should not be greater than n and if this condition is happens that then uh, the, that sum was not the sub combination of sum was not possible then i will just continue this now uh, since i have just used the lower bound so we know that the lower bound will return either this number or the number which is just greater than this number right so i have just checked whether this element is present in my array or not our complement number element is present in our array or not if it is present then i have just calculated the minimum number of uh, digits we are requirement requiring or minimum number of uh, elements in our answer so i have calculated that the previously calculated answer and the number of elements which i have taken from the start and number of elements i have which i have taken from end uh, it is just like that and at the end i have just written the minimum number of elements so the crux of this was problem was to observe that uh, it was a greedy approach and by following the greedy approach and by taking the help of the prefix sum and the suffix sum we could easily reach up to this answer hope you uh, like this uh, solution and understood the why we did what we did and why we haven't gone with the dp approach as the state will not allow us and this was all from my side if you have any doubts or any comments then feel free to comment in the comment box and see you in next video bye